Hi beauties, welcome back to our channel. So we are here to talk about the contents that are inside this box. Now, I actually am a 90s baby. Um, I was actually born, uh, not gonna give away my age, but I was born in the 90s. Um, and I grew up during the time of like Lizzie McGuire, um, That's So Raven, uh, the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, and this collection is very near and dear to my heart. Um, if you know what the thumbnail is, this is the ColourPop X Lizzie McGuire or X Disney. Um, but I'm very excited about this, and I cannot wait to try all of everything that is inside of here. Here's a sneak peek. And I saw this collection online. Um, and I had to buy one. I actually did buy two. So, um, one of our subscriber giveaways, uh, we'll get one of these full collections. I have a Hello Kitty collection. I have a, I have two Hello Kitty collections. I have the one with ColourPop and the one with Hip Dot. Um, there's Jeffree Star in there. There's so many items that actually are in this giveaway. I'm very excited for. The giveaway is very simple. All of our handles, Twitter, Instagram, um, we're even on TikTok with our cats now. All of that is down below in the description box as well as the items that we talk about in the video, um, the prices where you can buy them. If, you know, a lot of times by the time that I actually get to review it, it is sold out. Um, but we do put that information down below in the description box. Okay, so what I did get is the ColourPop PR collection. Uh, no, I was not sent to me, but I really like the fact that ColourPop gives us the opportunity to buy the whole PR collection. Um, looking at the invoice sheet that I have, uh, it looks like we got a blush, two blushes, two glitterly obsessed, a lip scrub and bubble gum pop eyeshadow palette with dreams are made of. I remember that. And Kit's Dear Diary and Kit's Seriously Cool. So I'm not exactly sure what the kits are. Um, because I haven't actually physically digged into this. Oh, I'm thinking the kits are these, actually. So on the back of it, it does say Dear Diary. It does have, um, Lizzie and Miranda. Um, uh, and then Seriously Cool, Ethan Craft and... Gordo. I definitely remember all of them and these are incredibly cute and adorable. Um, I'm looking at the lip gloss and it looks like there is a crap ton of glitter in these. I don't generally like lip gloss um, that has like huge chunks of glitter and these look like they're huge chunks of glitter. Like I do have a Jeffree Star, you know, Jeffree Star ones, um, the ones that are glittery. I do really like those, but they're not huge chunks of glitter. Um, I'm definitely going to try these out because I want to see how they actually do sit on the lips. Um, but I'm really definitely excited for these again in the description box down below. I will break these down as far as like the PR box and then each item, what it actually costs, but these are gorgeous. Okay, so then the next items that we have are the Pressed Powder Blush. This one right here is You Are So, You Are Magnificent. It does also say that at the top. The next one is Delish. Oh, the inside of this package is really cute too. It's yellow with daisies or flowers. And here's what the actual containments look like outside of the box. God, these are freaking adorable. Um, let's take a look inside. This one again is You Are Magnificent. There is a little mirror inside of it. And then here is the actual blush. Again, it does have a lot of glitter in it. I know that the trend, and especially for me, um, I tend to stay away from glitter brush and bronzers and just kind of like put the highlight where I want to put it. Delish, here's what this one looks like. There is a ton of glitter in it as well. I'm actually already wearing blush, but I'll definitely swatch these. Uh, so we can definitely see how they swatch out. Okay, the next item is it looks like, oh, okay. So we did get two Glitterly Assessed um, and they are in Get a Grip and Sing to Me Pablo. Oh, I remember that movie. Okay, um, here's what they look like. And then this is actually a lip scrub. And this is in Bubblegum Pop. <laughs> okay, so here's what the inside of the containment looks like. Oh, 
Oh, it definitely does have a very strong bubble gum scent to it. And it is very gritty too, so it's gonna give you a nice scrub on your lips. I don't know if you're actually supposed to eat these. I know Jeffree Star ones you can eat, um, but that does taste like bubble gum, so I'm really excited for this item. Okay, so next up we do have the Glitterly Assessed. The first one that I'm opening is Get a Grip. It's in these kind of like um, pink. That one was more lighter pink, but this one's more of a darker pink. Um, kind of like clear containers. This one's also in a dark pink, but has more of a uh, um, sheer kind of side to it. I don't actually I have a tough time with these because I really do think they're incredibly pretty. Um, and they, you know, they do what they're supposed to do, but here's what it looks like too. I just took a swatch in my hand quick. I don't like how they smell. It smells like plastic and glue. Okay. But I think they're so pretty. And this one is pink. I think it's actually off and trying not to drop things all over the place. So that'd be nice. They are so incredibly pretty. If you've ever tried one of these, they are really pretty. I just have a hard time, like, figuring out what to actually do with them unless I'm going to, like, a rave or a unicorn-themed party or some sort of glitter-themed party. Um, I'm going to put as much as the white as I did the pink. The pink, I got a big, big swatch up. But they are absolutely gorgeous. I just... I have a hard time figuring out what to do with them. Hi, Teen Teen. You're so pretty. You can not think now, my mama. Oh my gosh, look how much of a mess. Right now, my filming area is, but Teen Teen, she loves to film with mamas. Hi, baby. Oh, you're being bashful? She got a cat tree, so she's very tired. I just put it up last night and she's been playing with it nonstop. Okay, so I just used a makeup remover to remove majority of it, and this is why I have such a hard time with glitter, because it literally goes everywhere. Um, but like I said, they're incredibly gorgeous. It's just um, removing it and figuring out what to do with it and where to place it. If you read the package, it actually says it's not intended for the eye area. All right, so the final item, and I've been saving this one for last because I'm probably the most excited about it, and she is the main part to the actual collection. This is What Dreams Are Made Of Pressed Powder Palette in the Lizzie McGuire X Color Pop. We have Bye Bye, <laughs> Paulie's Done and Done Outfit Remember, Dear Diary, Udi, Uh, Uh. Hello, fabulous, don't freak, so mature, outfit repeater, and digital beam. Okay, so here's what she actually looks like outside of her packaging. And there is a mirror inside. I'm going to do my best to cover it. Um, but there is like a little Lizzie right here. I think that's super cute. And then there's more flowers up here. And here are what the eyeshadows actually look like. Um, they're definitely very like springy and pastel-y. Ooh, I love Papillies. This is like really, really, really pretty. And this shade here, Outfit Remember. Oh, that's gorgeous. I have to go get my nails done, guys, but I'm trying to let them heal. Like the last nail set kind of like totally damaged my nails, so I'm trying to let them heal. Okay, so I definitely wanted to actually play with some of the eyeshadow. That's why I didn't do my eyes and did the rest of my face. Um, but I knew that this would kind of be the main focus of the video. Um, so I definitely want to play with some of like these really pretty greens. Uh, but I definitely need to try this shade right here. This looks absolutely stunning. Okay, um, so here are the two blushes. I'm already wearing blush on my face. Okay, so here are the two blushes. I wanted to still kind of get a swatch of them just because I know swatches are not the most reliable, but I still kind of want to see like how much glitter and the pigmentation. Here is what the two blushes look like. It looks like this one is more on the lighter side. Um, delish. 
which is more where I gravitate to, uh, definitely minus the glitter portion. Um, but there is definitely a lot of glitter reflect in those blushes. You can kind of see them on my hand. This is the hand that I did the glitterly assessed on. And this is the newer one. But good brushes are good brushes. All right, so the first shade that I'm going to go in with is a. Uh, and I am using the JH30. Just a really fluffy blending brush. And I'm just on a like, in no particular order, I'm just fluffing that into the crease kind of all over the place, but below the brow bone and above the lid. Uh, it could be the brush that I'm using, but there is a kickback in the pan from that shade. If you care, you care. If you don't, you don't. And again, I'm just really blowing out this really corally uh, pink shade. I actually really like that. It just brings like a really nice pink hue to the um, eyelids. Kind of gives you like that healthy appearance. So I'm going to go in with the Digital Beam, which is this really pretty purple shade. I'm going to start it on the outer portion and just kind of like pack that color on and then just like slowly blend her out. So far the two shades that I have tried um, are actually blending really nicely together. Um, I don't see a lot of fallout on my eyes. I don't see a lot of weird patchiness. I think that's actually really pretty together. Just going to do the same to the other eye. I'm going to go back in with the 30 and just kind of blend it just so that they're kind of more seamless together. It's just like a really big blending brush that I really like. The Packer brush that I was using is the JH45. Yeah, it's really pretty actually. Okay, so I really want to try the outfit remember, and then I kind of want to put this a little bit above it, um, and then this in the inner tear portion, and then this down on the bottom lower lash line. Um, I was saying I wetted my brush. This is a JH42. I'm going in with outfit remember. Um, here is it's fully loaded on the brush. That is what it looks like on the actual lid. Uh, again, I'm going to spritz my brush just one more time. And I want to go in and pick up this pulleys, but I want to go like right above. And then this one in the inner corner. Here's this one. I'm just going to put this here. Oh, that's really shiny. I actually really like that shade. I'm going to put a little bit on my brow bone. I have never, I haven't done this in such a long time. I like the brow bones. By the way, can you notice I did my eyebrows completely different? Oh, that is really blingy. I'm going to go back in with this pinky coral shade. Just kind of blend that highlight and the crease color together. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm using the JH45 again. I'm just gonna pack on this shade here, which is Don't Freak. It's a really pretty, like, lime chemically uh, experiment color, and I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I'm just gonna use it on the lower lash line. Okay, well, definitely not. Let me just try it one more time. Let's go back in. We're going to not tap her off. We're just going to pack. So instead of blending it, I'm just like 
stamping it on the lower lash line. I'm getting some more color payoff, but definitely not as much as I thought it would have. Okay, so this is what I have kind of for the eyeshadow look. I'm going to hop off camera, do the exact same thing to this eye, throw on some mascara, eyeliner, and some false lashes, and I'll be right back for our final thoughts. Okay, guys, so I wanted to try one of the lip glosses. I did actually remove the lip gloss that I was using. I have been using and loving the Lancome Juicy Tubes, uh, but I wanted to try these ones out. This one actually spoke to me a lot. I actually like how it's clear, but it has like... Um, the liquid inside of it you can still kind of see and then it has like this really pink um, uh, pink plastic cap I guess is what I'm trying to say here's what it looks like when you squeeze it out ooh very strong like I just got my tooth cleaned my teeth cleaned dentist bubble gum it reminds me of I know, maybe because I got my teeth clean less. I don't know. Oh my gosh! They're plumping! Plumping glass duo. If I actually took the time to read something, I was putting this on and I'm like, wow, that feels very thick. Um, and it feels like, um, you know, very bubblegummy. I can definitely like smell it on my lips, even though it's on there, which it kind of, after a while, would probably give you a headache. Uh, but they're stinging and I was like, why are they stinging? Am I having an allergic reaction? No, they're one thing. Um, they're not like intense stinging by any means, but you can definitely feel the sensation. Okay, so final thoughts. I did put on some new lashes, which are kind of like a little bit more intense than I usually wear. I don't know how I actually feel about them right now, um, but let me know what you think down below. Okay, so my final thoughts on the entire collection. So seeing as how this is the last thing that we talked about i'm going to start with the lizzie guire um what a dream palette there she already got her dirty oh i hate when that happens what dreams are made of by ColourPop. i absolutely love the aesthetic of this palette i love that lizzie's sitting right up there and she's kind of hanging out with you through the whole process there's a mirror um it's definitely um got a little bit of weight to it so it doesn't feel completely cardboard uh, I do really like the color story. Um, I used uh, Don't Freak, so one. Ui, so two. Please. Outfit Rememberer, Ugg, and Bye. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six. So I used six shades. Um, I also did use this one down here. I'm not sure if I counted that one. I actually really liked how they blended, how they look on the eyes. Uh, I absolutely really love this color here. That's in my inner corner. It's very blingy. Uh, this one looks really pretty in the pan, but it's just more of like a pressed glitter. So it kind of just is, you know, what a glitter is. It's not exactly extremely pigmented and I wouldn't expect it to be. Uh, but this would definitely be my favorite one. This one I had a little bit of pigment issues. I did off camera pack on a lot more and then just kind of like softly smoothed it out with my um, finger. <laughs> actually because the brush was doing no justice for it um but i do really like the palette um the only one i didn't try i think like one two three four five six the six shades that i didn't try i can't really make a judgment call on um but the ones that i did try i really like actually except for this one was a little bit harder um but i was still able to make it work okay uh, my final thoughts on these ones. So I did actually try the Miranda shade in here, which is this one. They are plumping. Um, you can definitely smell the... I'm back here. <laughs> you can definitely smell the bubble gum um, once it's actually on your lip, which is kind of already starting to produce a headache for me because I don't like really strong scents. Um, I guess I'm just kind of weird like that. I kind of want to put my glitter and my highlight where I want to put it. I want to put my fragrance where I want to put my fragrance. It's, it's a big deal. Anyways, I can still smell it on my lips. Um, even as I'm talking, I can get a little bit of like bubble gum in through my mouth, which is kind of weird. I don't know how to explain that to you. Actually, I should go. I absolutely love the design on these. The little Lizzie's and the packaging is absolutely adorable. I think these are super duper gorgeous. Um, I don't notice a large amount of glitter, so it doesn't really actually bug me on the lips. I think they're actually really pretty. Um, there is plumping in them. I have noticed since I've been sitting here talking after applying them. Uh, my lips are getting a little bit bigger, which is kind of hard to tell because I generally have really big lips. Um, but I definitely really like these a lot. I just don't like the fragrance.
Okay, so final thoughts after going through each item. I really like the look that I was able to create with the eyeshadow palette and the gloss. Um, I would definitely purchase it again. I just think that maybe I would purchase more so individual items like the glosses. I would still actually purchase, which is extremely weird because I like how they look on my lips. Beauty is paint. I don't know. That's just me. Um, the smell isn't too, too intense. Like you're not going to like faint or anything from it. Um, but I just prefer if it was a little less fragrant next time. Um, and I would purchase the eyeshadow palette. As far as the blushes and the glitterly obsessed, uh, it's nice that they're in the collection if you're going to be using them. I just personally would not purchase them again. Okay, so those are my final thoughts. Let me know down below what you think about this eyeshadow look, these eyelashes, the collection, my hair, my background, anything you guys want to chat about. I'm definitely happy to chat with you. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I'm going to go get my nails done sometime this week so they start to look better. I think I'm going to get smaller ones though because I just, I can't do guardian chain nails. Even the small, anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Until the next time, stay beautiful, stay sexy.